World of Warcraft Classic. As I record this, it's been almost exactly 24 hours since release. Hello again, I am Blunty. And man, some dopey fracker at Blizzard sure must be feeling a bit of a tit right now. I mean, a rich tit, probably delighted to have never been so idiotically wrong in all his stupid life, but a tit nonetheless. The hype within the WoW community has been on an ever-increasing boil for this recreation and re-release of World of Warcraft in its original form. Before, 15 years of patches, updates, expansions and mechanical changes turned the game into what it stands at today. Once upon a time, the then Vice President of World of Warcraft, J. Allen Brack, and now well-known Silly Tit, when asked in 2013 about the possibility of releasing servers that recreate WoW in its original release state, famously replied, or perhaps infamously, You think you want that, but you don't. Meaning to imply with a shit-looking smirk on his face that players today would not appreciate the game then as judged by today's standards. The WoW community understandably annoyed at this dismissive response and presumptive arrogance of telling people what they want isn't actually what they want didn't go over well. It became a meme, of course. Now, a few years later, after Blizzard's lawyers forced shutdowns of many fan-run private servers, which did attempt to recreate an original WoW experience, and with the launch of a carefully crafted recreation of original WoW, but now run on top of current server infrastructure and the modern client, we have World of Warcraft Classic. Unlike the current version of WoW, you cannot play this for free for the first 20 levels. From day one, minute one, you need to have an active subscription or some prepaid game time. Which means, with smarmy, smirking tit J. Allen Brack proven absolutely ridiculously embarrassingly wrong, a man who is now president of Blizzard as a whole, well, he'll never ever ever live down his myopic and dismissive comments, will he? Because literal millions of existing, renewing and newly paying players are enjoying WoW Classic right now, and by all reports, and I don't just mean by all reports as a kind of turn of phrase, I mean literally every report, every word, every reaction, every stream, every comment, every post I've seen about the game experience, people have been rather enjoying it. Using Twitch streams as an easy metric for interest and popularity shows a massive spike in both viewers and streamers from peaks of no more than 100,000 viewers for the entirety of Twitch for the retail game to surpassing 1.1 million viewers for the launch of WoW Classic. And sure, this initial spike, fueled by hype and curiosity, will die down. And so it is for any WoW expansion, or any MMORPG launch or expansion, or any game for that matter. Point is though, clearly people who thought they wanted it, did really actually want it. Otherwise they wouldn't be playing it. And they wouldn't be watching so many other people play it, would they? And from what I've seen from watching other people stream, and from my own stream, and from my 15 seamless hours of day one gameplay yesterday, people really, really, really are rather enjoying it. They wanted it. And in my case, nostalgia has nothing at all to do with it, as I never really did play WoW either in its early days or in its current form. So my perspective, untainted by memory or expectations or rose-tinted glasses, or any flavour of nostalgia, and I am really genuinely enjoying it. And so popular has the launch been that in the Oceanic region alone, they had to literally double the amount of server realms on day one. In fact, they had to double them within about six hours. And even if the hype and enthusiasm only lasts a month or two, the huge piles of cash rolling in from just that have clearly demonstrated that yes, in fact, we do want this. The classic game will surely see more surges as it recreates the launch of sequential updates and stages going forward as well. Now, I never really agreed with this concept, but some people like to evaluate a game's value and worth based on a kind of dollar per hour metric. If you get 60 hours of fun from a $60 game, then it's good. From that perspective, with a single month subscription costing about $16 for World of Warcraft, I got full value from this game on launch day. Before launch day even finished, in fact. I've enjoyed the seamless early game progression, the gentle but challenging questing that very often and entirely unlike modern WoW and many current day MMORPGs, absolutely 100% requires you to join up with people just to get stuff done, as merely aggroing more than one or two standard scrub mobs at a time can be deadly dangerous, never mind named NPCs or elite mobs. 
And this helps create an actual sense of community that I don't think I've ever experienced in a multiplayer game in quite the same way before. And even when I'm solo, just sort of churning out some slow XP or working on my gathering and crafting proficient stuff with some Netflix on a second screen, I'm really enjoying the time just doing the slow grind. WoW is popular for a reason and was popular for a reason back when it had this form. It's compelling, challenging, but inviting able to be fully enjoyed by newbies or old hats all the same, and best yet, the gameplay and pacing is too slow and methodical to entice today's nano attention span meme dork wannabe edgelord Fortnite kids. Which means the community here is a little bit more mature than many gaming communities, so there's surprisingly little toxicity in the community and in the in-game chat. We're all grown-ups here, and decades worth of experience with people just dealing with people face to face, where being a dick would get you punched in the middle of your face. And aside from that, everyone's just kind of pleased to be there. I mean, you, you still get the mild rage at low item drop rates and mob swarm deaths and all that sort of stuff included, but that's part of the game. And we like that too, even if it does frustrate us. <laughs> I don't know yet if I personally will stick to it long term or just soak it in for a few months to get my fill, maybe drop back in on expansions and such. But I do know, for now at least, I am very much going to be looking forward to carving out time in my days to drop into this well-crafted and shared world. And my rogue, my sneaky slice and dice boy, will continue to wander the plains and valleys and cities and mines of Azeroth, helping out where he can. Slitty, the scoundrel with a heart of gold. I'm sorry, I misread that. It should have read, Slitty, the scoundrel, give me some gold I'm trying to afford my mount at 40 and making gold in this game is surprisingly difficult. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.